core training for athletes. Well, that's fantastic. My friend Sean Vig filming for Sweatstream TV. This is this is a core training Pilates training for athletes video. I just published my latest book, Pilates for Athletes. So my mind has just been ensconced in all these exercises. Body weight only, great for men and women. So I thought I'd put together a short but intense sequence that benefits athletes of every level, every strife, no matter which sport you play, you will get stronger, leaner, faster, better, and more flexible. Make sure you subscribe to Sweatstream TV and do me a huge favor, subscribe to my channel in the About section. You can order my book also in the About section, uh, Pilates for Athletes. All right, enough of that. Let us go to the mat, which we are already on. Okay, leaving the socks on because it's chilly today, even though it's almost May here in the Rockies. The next six days we're having snow, so we're filming outside while we still can. Am I colorful enough? Blues and reds, remarkable. All right, these are, these are workouts, these are exercises that connect your core to the rest of your body. Core strength, flexibility training, every athlete's secret weapon. Come on down, we're going to start with the hundred scissors modify as needed right leg up left leg out arms forward imprint that lower back into the mat flex the feet if you like and we're going to pump the arms up and down we breathe in for five counts in the nose and then exhale for five counts through the mouth that's pilates breath we're going to rotate the legs every five beats okay it'll make sense when we do it here we go 100 pulses two Three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight, nine, do ten more slowly, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, now take the legs out, heels together, toes apart, Pilates stance, hold it here, two breaths. Lower back is down, connect to the core, the abs, the lower back, the hips and the glutes, your powerhouse, your center of strength. And let us move into the mudra roll up. Legs together, draw the toes towards you. Use an elbow if you get stuck on the bottom. Inhale, pause, exhale, rise up. It is snowing. We got snow, folks. So we come up and, I'm sorry, reach the arms back. There we are. And then arms up and slowly roll down. Let me clean that up. Let's do six repetitions. So here we go. Pause, come up, circle the arms around, lace the fingers, open, smush the backs of your knees down. And then arms up and stretch, spine stretch, long lean muscles. That's one. C curve, roll down, efficient movement. Circle those arms back, lace and open. Palms together if you're able if you are able and stretch up and over press the backs of the knees down all right we're going on to number three easy on the spine big movements loosen up the shoulders the chest the legs and everything else good times all right three more times red and blue draw the toes towards you Camera, I'm good. <laughs> you always gotta check, make sure that uh, red light is blinking. Have nightmares about that. Okay, it's fine, man. Two more times. <sighs> efficient, efficient movement. So take those arms back. You'll be amazed at how much breath, how much oxygen you're losing throughout the day from bad posture, from your shoulders rolling forward and crushing your breath to a weak or imbalanced core. <sighs> It all goes together. Pilates, we connect the core and then move outward from there. And once more, bring it up and over. Take an extra breath here. Stretch, hinge forward because I'm going to say please. All right, the rollover. Fix the blouse. The rollover is too much. You could do a double straight leg stretch. So here's the first option. Flex the feet, hands under the hips or fingers back of the head. You can lower, point, and raise. Bend the knees to modify, okay? The rollover, definitely more advanced. If you have neck issues or whatnot, leave it out and do that. Take the legs. Let's do 
classic one. Legs together, arms to the sides or hands over the hips, or arms overhead. Using the core, we're going to exhale, peel that spine off the mat, relax the neck, inhale, flex the feet, slowly, slowly roll down. Okay, let's do four more. Slow massage that spine. Again, arms could be here. Flex and lower. One vertebrae at a time. You can lift a little higher, but always err on the side of precision. I've lost count. I'm going to do two more times. Two more times, my friends. Do them with me. If by chance we do one extra, that is extra credit. Here we go. Up and over. Flex. <laughs> and slowly rolled. I don't know how Arnold fits in to this, but let's roll all the way up. We're going to do the spine. Uh, what is it called? The saw roll up. Roll up saw. I'm mixing my Pilates words around. It's like a big soup. Heels to the outside edges. All right, we're going to take the arms out. We're going to twist. Two pulses to the right. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, center. To the left. And then take the arms up, and there's our roll down again. You can roll halfway back if that's too much. Let's do four more. Come up, try to alternate. Look to the back arm. Really get that flexibility in the side. Three more times. Eddie's huffing. You know, something's about to go down. Must be somebody having the nerve to walk by. All right, slowly down. Let's do two more times. Up and twist. Good. You love those twists. This is my father's favorite exercise, by the way. His favorite Pilates exercise. Probably going to be doing a book with him in the next few months also. But more on that later. More on that. All right. Roll it down nice and slow. And let's do the scissors crisscross. There's the classic crisscross. This one takes it up a notch, really stretching the legs more, adding more core engagement. Fingers back of the head. We'll do 20 of these. Lift your chest towards that knee, not the elbow. Keep the elbow out. We're going to inhale, switch. Exhale, lift. One. You could flex the feet for more. Three, four, five, six, seven. Core strength, flexibility training. Nine, ten for every athlete. And 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Take the leg towards you. This is the tornado single straight leg stretch. Bring the leg towards you. Inhale, circle, circle around. Grab, there's that leg. Grab it, stretch it in. Inhale, exhale, all right? 10 times in this blizzard. Inhale, one. Extend the other leg out, two, three. Real precise. Coordinate the movements. Five, five more. Six, seven, elbows to the outside, eight, nine, nine times, and ten. All right, quick shake out. Drop those legs side to side four times. There we go. Drop it, keep it loose, keep the sides loose, keep the twists alive. And bring the knees in for just one breath. Okay. Big reason I'm so excited about this book is this exercise. It's called the Tree Crunch. I'll show you a variation on it in just a moment. Let's see. Let's begin up here seated. Take your left leg, extend it forward, and extend the right leg up. Grab the feet or the ankle as high as you can. Shoulders down, elbows to the outside. Long legs. Get that nice stretch in your lower back. Shoulders down. Now, with the exhale, we're going to slowly lower down, come to the bottom. As you uh, in, take an inhale prep and then exhale, come back up. If this is too much, you can roll up right here, do a crunch, and then come back down. Ten times. Here we go. We're going to come up at number five. I'm going to show you another option on this. But always reward yourself with this stretch right here. you got to get that flexibility training. you got to get it. Ah, there we are. You're not all right, Spider. Here we go. We got five. Slowly come down. All right. Now, if you keep doing that or pull the leg out to the side, oh, it's a hip opener. And then we swing it back and we come on up. Okay. So either one. Grab the foot or the ankle. Ooh, it's not my cleanest move, but we work on it, don't we? We work on it all the time. Huge stretch. All right. I'm going to do 
It's five mea. Two more. Massage that spine. Big opening. <sighs> Do these stretches whenever I can. Combining the core work from that strong powerhouse, that strong center. Come on up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. All right. Let's fix or let's switch the legs. Now, ten times either one. I'm going to start with just the classic one. I'm going to stretch it up. I'm going to slowly roll down. So ten times you can do that hip open right away if you like. I'll start that on number five. And here's, ooh, there we are. Two. Slowly down. Three. Your leg is like a rope, like in gym, gym class. Which I was always good at climbing the rope. I haven't tried that in years. I don't know. All right, there's five. Now, continue with that, or I'm going to add this. I'm going to kick the railing because I can't stand it. All right, there's six. Down. Open. Ooh, that's good. I turned 40. How old am I? I turned 42 in a couple months. Yeah, so I am loving, loving these kinds of exercises. Let them be the base of your entire fitness schedule, your entire fitness program. Always get your core strength and flexibility training in there and do everything else better. One more time. We come up. Oh, there's that stretch on the top. I'll tell you what, take both the legs up. This one is most certainly also featured in the book. We take the legs up. Almost fell over there. <laughs> Grab the feet or the ankles, shoulders down. So opposition, press the heels forward, stretch the backs of the legs, relax the shoulders, open the chest, tuck the chin a little bit, wink. <sighs> one more breath. <sighs> so much to do, so little time. All right, let me introduce you to the Pilates plank with leg lift. Do a quick adjustment here, and of course, adjusting the cap for maximum vis viscosity. <sighs> Just random words, all right. Forearm plank. This is a Pilates plank with leg lift. We're gonna, let's do the uh, exhale forward. Exhale forward, dip down, touch the nose on the fingers, lift that leg up, and then inhale back, okay? Let's do 20 times alternating the leg each time. Good, squeeze all those muscles. And five, imagine the feeling I have doing the Pilates plank, six, seven, Eight. We got it, my friend. Keep going. Nine. Ten. On the deck today. Making an entire workout on this map. Your fitness island. Welcome to fitness island. I'm going to do five more. Three. All right. Four. And five. Let's lower down. Let's do a swim. Arms. Forward, shoulder width, legs hip width. Inhale, lift, opposite arm, opposite leg, exhale, lower. 20 times, let's just keep it this one right here. Inhale, up, down. Three, four, six, seven, eight. All right, 10 more times, lift higher. 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, come up to a standing position. We're going to finish off with the Pilates push-up, and you're not going to want to miss this one, so come right back. Rising up. No, 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 no. All right, here's how it works. Come to the back edge of your mat. Ten times. You can, you can do a plank. You can do a push-up, two push-ups, or three push-ups. I'm doing the video, so I'll do three Hands can be on the shoulders or hands out wide. Let's make sure you're parallel when you lower down. So we start here, shoulders back. Exhale, dive down. Adjust the sweatpants, walk out. Here's plank position. Now three push-ups. I'm, I'm going to alternate with tricep ones and wide ones. And we walk back. So huge stretch. Inhale, rise up. Little shoulder roll on the top. Get that posture where it needs to be. That's one. Let's do ten. I'm gonna go a little wider here. Okay. Do it in your own speed. There's two. Good. 
push-ups are a miraculous exercise, combining it with this full movement here. Do an extra shoulder roll there. I love that. All right, I'm going on to four. Cuatro. Okay. And rise up. Number five. Feel that stretch, that beautiful forward fold. I'm moving the mat around. All right, four more times. Core strength, flexibility training. Love push-ups. All right, three more. We got it, my friend. Are we still filming? Good. That's always good to know. This is a Pilates mat. It's fantastic, but it's squishy. So it's a little difficult sometimes to balance on it. So I like to go off the mat two more times. Yep. We come back. Rise up. You're the best around. You're the Daniel LaRusso of Pilates push-ups. Hate this stupid mat. All right, bring it up. And that's the last one, my friends. Let's milk this. Rise up. Woo, rise up. A little behind the scenes peek. All right, my friends. Sweatstream TV is taking a little hiatus. So in the meantime, make sure you subscribe to my channel and subscribe to all the other channels that contribute the contributors on this channel so you don't miss a workout or Addy. And you can pick up Pilates for Athletes at SeanVeagFitness.com in the book tab above. The book fresca. The book tab. A pleasure, my friends. Keep practicing and comment below how you did and share this workout with your teammates and your coaches. Very important. Get you on this program, core training, Pilates training for athletes. You will be unstoppable.